Okay, um, just a quick note. When you go to change the motherboard, uh, this is the RS, RS speed, but it doesn't matter whether it is speed or torque version. Uh, the new motherboards are a lot bigger as far as the plate is concerned. So when you go to replace the motherboard, this is where they, they have an offset or a platform for the uh, buzzer, which then they decided not to put there. So when you go to put this motherboard in, because it is so much bigger, that gets in the way. So you need to cut that. When you cut it, you're gonna leave a hole. I've already cut it. Basically, you take the cap off, you use a uh, Dremel tool, and carefully, you uh, cut that uh, standoff away or the platform. Remove this cap, save it. Now, you've got to fill this hole in. Uh, best way is with epoxy. Um, what I normally do is I cover this side with uh, um, duct tape um, and then I fill from the other side but the wheel is in the way I haven't dropped the wheel so so that I don't have to drop the wheel I'm gonna tape the underside and fill my epoxy from the top uh, and then let it sit uh, another thing while i have it open let's say you are riding in the mountains or wherever somewhere remotely your motherboard dies and now you have to push the wheel if i short these two wires any any of the motor wires now there's a lot of resistance so all you have to do because pushing a wheel with that resistance on the motors is not fun in the mountains all you have to do is open the side cover and unhook the motor wires from the motherboard and then it runs free that was the side note so that's what you need to do and then obviously there's a gasket that goes under the motherboard in this area make sure you put the gasket back in alrighty then tally ho